Oh, hey, Jack. <laughs> You're first. Alright, so... Sorry. In case you don't know, hey, Selkie as well. Uh, today, Gun is gonna stream. They're gonna talk about the future of TCM, and I definitely need to check on with this. But since it's only in 10 minutes, I might as well just uh, prepare a video for tomorrow, so hey. Reaction content? Yes. Oh yeah, actually, spe wait. I'll put my face cam on in uh, 5 minutes, hold up. Saying hi, hey man. Hey Nemesis, welcome. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday. So, in the meantime, while we wait, I'm just gonna prepare a video for tomorrow, depending on to see how, um, how do I say this correctly? Yeah, we're just gonna wait for them to um, go live. In the meantime, I'm just gonna prop him some clips. My question is, where are my uh, nice project names? I know, very uh, creative. <laughs> where are my Friday 13 clips? There they are, perfect. I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit. So, I'm excited to see what they're gonna say this stream. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's uh, good news, not bad news. Just hoping. There's always hoping, in the end. <laughs> You're wondering why I was streaming already? Yeah, I live in Europe. Think I live six hours ahead of you? What time is it for you guys? 11? It's about to be 12pm, actually. <laughs> Oh, hey Jack, it's good to have you here as well. Alright, I'm just gonna cut these clips down. That's all I'm gonna do, really. In the meantime, let's see their sign. No, okay. Actually, I should just put some background music on as well, because why not? 11.50, there we go. Does it really matter what I put on? Probably yes, because I'm also on YouTube and I kind of need my... Um, I'm currently qualifying for monetization and uh, if I do something dumb right now... Or if I do something that involves copyright, then I'm gonna get my ass handed. There you go. So, uh, I think it's gonna be safe to play a non-copyright uh, uh, music for once. Just my... Just some simple clips about me killing boss, that's really all I'm gonna do. That's the same clip, bro. Got scammed. Your sub expired by Cabby Barn to walk to PC. Oh, I show one a little bit lazy. Oh, so cute. On Spotify? I don't have Spotify on my PC. <laughs> that's fine. I really get uh, check for that stuff. Also, currently right now, uh, I am um, getting pandered by YouTube to see if a monetization is a green flag. I should be able to get a mail in less than 24 hours. So hopefully I can get through of that. That's all I'm really hoping for, of course. Bunkers. That's good. Oh. So, uh, let's check in. Have they put something up yet? Oh, life? They're alive? It's probably them starting, aren't they? It says they're alive. Gun Interactive, streaming right now. Yeah, I assume this is people waiting. Yeah, it's people waiting. Okay. Exciting. Anyway. I think about seven minutes they're gonna go proceeding live. But knowing gun, they're gonna delay it probably. 
Because that's what these people are good at nowadays. Hello, Clip, you can get dragged in now, come on. Mm. Yeah, people are just chilling in chat right now, it's nothing too much. Andy Cleaves, oh, that's probably one of the developers, isn't he? Not yet. Show us who I follow. What would I matter? I don't follow Twitch thoughts, you bozo. And no, I don't follow Kill Clutch. Before you ask. You need to judge me? Yeah, no, I don't need to get judged by people, especially like you. Some TCM streamers, TCM streamers, most of them are TCM streamers. Uh, Toasty, Aussie, BD streamer, Malik, Matt, and that's, I think that's everybody? And also Arva, that's all. Oh Jesus, Jack! Bro has subscribed for like six months already in advance? Jesus, thank you man. Fuck, bless you man, thank you. <laughs> And thanks for the lyric, man. Much appreciated. W. Yeah, there's nothing really. They're doing the stream right now. In about five minutes, they're gonna do it. Uh, Jamil. Uh, Jamil. I'm sorry if I pr mispronounced your name. I didn't mean to uh, do that. But in the meantime, while we're still waiting, I'm just gonna continue editing or uh, cutting my clips for my next uh, video. And no, it's actually not TCM background footage once, it's actually Friday 13 because I wasn't bothered to play Texas Chainsaw for once. <laughs> Getting the live stream? Hey, we're gonna do a watch along today, so hey, welcome. Now I can e get pissed even more. Also, yeah, I'm just editing a video, I'm waiting for them to go live, but I'm not gonna waste my time looking at their homepage because I'm on PC, I'm enjoying my benefits. Get around video, thank you, man. Got a huge part agrees with me. Some people even said they first disagreed with me, like way before in the past, but now they agree with me. So hey, I'm in the, I'm in the one here. The game is tough right now. Yeah, that's one percent true. Man, these kills are so satisfying in this game. Like, I'm genuinely not kidding. The models did a great work. Shush! No one slapped. Slam dunk. Something happening. Refresh. Nope, but there's 600 people waiting, so that's a huge. Don't necessarily see recognizable, recognizable people yet, but hey. They fried Wait, they played Mortal Kombat? <laughs> yeah, Jason was a fucking guest character in Mortal Kombat, I actually forgot. Yeah, the devs are gonna get a shitload of um, comments. Just hopefully uh, the guy with the nose ring, I think his name was Matt, doesn't start latching at me because he's known for latching out on uh, negativity. <laughs> but do I care? No, of course not. What's the point about having a game when you can't handle criticism? Criticism. Yeah, this is basically going to be the background footage for the next TCM video. I generally cannot be bothered to play... Um, TCM right now. 
<laughs> it's a buggy mess. Can't wait for them to only see the live chat messages saying buff grapples are great updates. Yeah, unfortunately there's a case, especially on Instagram, where people are like really applauding the developers. I, I would show the Instagram, but the thing is I'm logged in with my main account and uh, yeah, I don't really want people to know what my main account name is. That's a uh, private. I mean, I could log out, but I think you need to log in in order to see Instagram from a browser. I mean, I can show... Well, Twitter and Reddit are... Yeah, Reddit is hella negative when it comes to commenting on these devs. Twitter is 50-50. Uh, Instagram especially is like, uh, good job, good job, people, good job. You earn a plot. Alright, are they streaming yet? Now it's like one more minute. Refresh. Oh, there's ads? Oh, stream starting in 1 minute 30. Yeah, we're not gonna watch this ad, cringe ad. I'm not getting paid for this crap. Sponsor me and I'll allow you to get a view on my stream, bozos. Grapples being too weak. <laughs> Grapples are giving a buff. Now they can't totally be in, uh, injured anymore. Alright, I think this is gonna be my last clip and we're gonna lock in for um, the stream. We're also gonna t turn off the music, of course. Oh yeah, this was actually a kind of sick clip, because I got shot by a flare while I'm close killing someone. Where's the flare? Where's the flare? <laughs> Considering this clip is hella long, I assume... No, I was just chasing her. Alright, there you go. Yes. Alright, well, how many more? Jesus Christ! The, the, screw ads. We don't look at these. The stream is starting in 20 minutes, seconds, shit. Okay, the ad is gone. Oh, there we go, perfect. Wow, they even have their own shitty background music. That's a blessing. Where's my shitty background music playing? Shut up. Alright, this is gonna be a blast to watch. TCM on Twitter begging for other face to not have an effort to spread anymore, so when he runs out, he can't get an overhead spread anymore. Whack. No, we're gonna watch full screen. I don't care what the. No, I'll occasionally check the chat to see what they say, because I wanna see some reactions, because I think this is probably gonna be one of the biggest streams. Well, not really biggest streams, but it's gonna be something, and I'm very generally excited to see how people react to all this stuff. Also, this is like guns background music, not mine, so I hope the volume is gonna be decent enough. <laughs> Do something, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. You never know what these people. They're very unpredictable, uh, here we go. Wes! Matt! It's time to speak! Oh, it's Matt. What's going on, everybody? Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt. Woohoo! I'm your brand strategy lead here at Gun. And bro, get these fucking check pronouns out of here, bro. Um, before we get into the community check-in, I want to address the the chicken in the room. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because that's the most important Yesterday, thing. Yesterday, Wes uh, was feeling a little under the weather, and overnight that turned into fully under the weather. So Wes is out sick today. Oh, uh, shit. I hope he's getting rest and feeling better soon. So I'm going to be running Well, Wes is not here, boys. <clears throat> now... Before I get, I have, I have a bunch of notes I want to cover here and things I want to talk about. Before I get into that, I want to make a couple of things clear. This is not a showing off the new killer stream. This isn't a new family member. This <sighs> isn't new content. This isn't, we're not pushing anything at you guys today. And, oh, you know, oh that's going to sting. Is because I know that a lot of y'all are expecting us to be like, hey, check out this new family member. Check out this new... Wait, I want to see chat. Um, Dang it. Sure. <laughs> Always um, a disappointment with to, gun. We, we know the situation <laughs> with the game right now. Obviously, we're... Oh, it's already started. Oh, it's crazy. No way. And, you know, we, we see what's going on and, and some of the frustrations that are happening. And so we had some things we wanted to address. And we felt like the best way to get that done is to sit down and, and be in front of the camera and get these things said. It's um, kind of part of the way this all works having to uh, occasionally sit down and, 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 you know, the nature of the check-in. Check in with you guys, talk about some of these things and get some things ironed out and talked about. Um, so yeah, like I said, 
you know, new family member. We'll have news on that soon enough. I'll talk a little bit about Stay tuned, boys. what's going on there. Stay tuned. And all of that within my notes, uh, as well as the other pieces of new content that we've got planned. Um, we've got a lot of things to cover. Um, I'm also going to take some of your questions, but I want to save that for the end. Let me get through this outline. Let's talk about these things that uh, kind of are the the genesis of why we're even here for this stream, and then we can worry about some questions from the chat. So um, you might notice our chat's in slow mode. Just if you have an important question, just hang on to it for later, and um, I'll get to as many of those as I can. So that being said, first off, I hope you're all having a great day, and uh, you know, me and Nugget are going to try and get through uh, this outline now. There he is. Yeah, thank you, Rob. Oh, and by the way, quick shout out to our producer, Rob. He's over there running everything for me. What's up, guys? Let's go, Rob! And, uh, <laughs> keeping things uh, ironed out here. And um, so, yeah, like I said, I have this checklist. We're going to get into that now. Um, and the first one that we want to talk about is is lobbies. And, you know, more importantly, what's going on with the lobby situation. Ooh, um, they're acknowledging this. You know, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. And I want to put some huge caveats on this. It's not the only thing we're facing, but currently the number one issue with lobbies is players dodging. Yeah, and, okay. Um, you know, I, I know that can be frustrating for the community to hear. Um, and I know it feels like, well, I mean, come on, it can't just be that. And, um, you know, I'm not saying that it is only that. Um, the point that with, with bringing up the dodging situation, the dodging problem with lobbies is that whole situation is kind of making it difficult for the team to unpack what else might be going on with lobbies. Um, you know, we've been hunting down the uh, what's been referred to as a backfill issue. We've been trying to, to look into that kind of a thing for a long time now, um, going back to shortly after launch. And there were some changes that we made. And the, the, the problem with that investigation, though, is all of this lobby dodging stacked on top of it is making it difficult for us to try and see if there is anything going on, anything further going on, and if there is something going on, what that might be and how we can fix it. We need to make some kind of moves in order to limit the way lobby dodging is right now. And I think that if you've played this game for any amount of time, you've certainly heard the, well, if, it, if the other team has this family member, I'm dodging. If they have that victim, I'm dodging. If they're this rank, I'm dodging. If they're that rank, I'm dodging. If they're running this grandpa perk, I'm dodging. If it's that map, all of these reasons to dodge lobbies, and while we understand that players want to have that kind of control over the game mode they want to play, that is definitely impacting the situation with lobbies, both from a player experience standpoint and from the team, you know, in terms of the team trying to investigate what might be going on. We need to get that under control. Um, what that means and what that looks like, we'll have more news on that as we roll those things out. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about some patch cadence things coming up, but um, expect us to be making some changes. Oh, uh, another state tunes. I love it. On the side of lobby dodging, because we really need to rein that in if we're going to be able to diagnose what's going on. But again, you know, uh, that that's not us saying, hey, it's entirely a dodge problem. It's more a matter of we can't get to that without cutting the dodge problem off um, and, and, and exposing what might or might not be going on underneath. So that's that. The The next thing I wanted to bring up is the 90 days. Oh yeah, this uh, one. We definitely targeted a lot of content within that 90 days. And as you guys, I'm sure a lot of you realize and we've heard on socials and such, we're running right up to that. I mean, you know. Isn't it today? We didn't really set the 90 day thing out with like a hard exact day. Like the 18th is when this is up. Yeah, it was this more a matter of, we felt confident with that 90 days. Now, obviously, we're running up to that 90 days, and some of that content that we talked about... Oh, hey, Dorf. Uh, I'm just watching a developer stream of TCM. Uh, a new game mode. Trust um, me, that's not what I look like. You've heard us talk about museum mode. And an execution pack, that stuff is obviously going to slip from that 90-day timeline. Um, basically, the, the short answer and the short explanation there is the content was not where we wanted it to be yet. And rather than put out content that we felt was not up to snuff, um, rather than put that out and... You know, just so we could meet this 90-day mark, we decided to hold it. Uh, we're holding it until we can get it to a point that we feel confident and comfortable with. That being said, um, I don't think any of the work that we have going on there is uh, some insurmountable task. It's not that any Love of that you, content is in jeopardy of not seeing the light of day. It's more just a matter of it needed a little more time in the oven. 
as far as when we will show because again like i said at the top of the stream this is not a this isn't our we're, we're, this isn't like a big preamble to check out the new new um this is more about having an honest and frank kind of chat with you guys um as far as when we'll share that new family member just keep an eye on our socials and all of our channels for that um the uh one thing that I, I also want to hey, note about that, shifting out of this 90 days and those pieces of content slipping from the 90-day timeline, that has no bearing on the longevity of the game. It's not some kind of uh, red flag or warning sign of any kind of problems. We still have all of the content we've been planning to put out. You've seen Wes tweet about content through the one-year anniversary as well as through the end of 2024. Um, this content slipping out of that 90 day window is not, it's, it's not, you know, a sign of anything, you know, shortening basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, we plan to continue to support Texas Chainsaw Massacre in and through 2024 to the end. Um, that hasn't changed with this. It's just, we, okay, we're not so going to put this stuff out just so we can say, yep, checkbox. We As made the sign, 90 day mark. If we're going to keep game, uh, playing this game or uh, giving it hope. Now, somewhat tied to that, um, Again, not not fully to blame, but a part of that is our develop, uh, development partner transition. I know a lot of you guys have been checking in on that and asking about that. Um, you know, obviously transitions like this, they're not without hiccups. Um, it's a big undertaking. Um, we're doing our best to make sure that this impacts the player base as little as possible. Um, that being said, we're making good progress and we're cleaning up a lot of those processes that it takes in order to get this stuff done, um, both content and fixes. Uh, through that, though, we're kind of uncovering some things that we have to kind of put some attention to. And so, like I said, it's not without its hiccups, but, you know, we're all feeling pretty positive about the transition. We have a lot of cool things coming. And I do have some some of the bright sides to that, you know, transition of our development partner uh, coming up later in this outline that we can discuss. Ah, um, finally. Something. But, uh, yeah, basically that dev development transition, it's still in place. It's still kind of taking place. Um and again, like I said, I'd be lying if I said it was without hurdles, but we're tackling those, teasing out the problems, untangling things, and getting things figured out. Um, we're all confident here that in the long term, this works out really well for the player base. And so while we appreciate your patience with us in the, in the, the, for the time being, um, we're, we're confident that you'll see the, the benefits of all of this work now in you know the month, a month to come, within a month to come. Within a month. Okay. Uh, another thing. Another thing I wanted to. Oh, this is a good one. The perk patch. This is thrown out a lot. There's a lot of questions about the perk patch. I wanted to kind of, first off, provide a little insight into what we mean when we say perk patch. Uh, over on Twitch, um, new driver. If you. Oh, we sorry. have Hold a up. lot of smaller. Uh, gone interactive to perks on Twitch. That have gone into pretty much. I'm, the community team can Gun call me a liar. You'll find I think here. they probably know better than me. Oh, that helps. Uh, shout out Actually, let me put the link in the chat, in the chat. Real quick. Um, Now that you ask, thank you. I, I feel like every you patch go. we've done since Sorry for those who are watching. some kind of a shift to different perks. Um, those are usually value changes. You'll notice that a lot of those are like, we're adjusting the amount of you know, percentages at each of the three levels for a perk and things like that. Those value changes, as we refer to them, They've been, there we go. Excuse me, spread out through all of our patches so far. That's not the perk patch. That's the constant work that happens in a live game. The bigger perk patch is more about moving perks around in the skill trees. Um, maybe assigning a perk to Gosh, a man. character Enjoy your day. who currently doesn't have an option in their skill tree to have that perk, like Sunny and things like that. Um, that would be the bigger perk patch. That's a bigger undertaking, and that. That will be better work Yo, if children. done all at once. Um, zoom I'm out a bit and chat. look at the, the trees and all of the different characters and how they're playing and kind of really go to in complain. with intent. That's not I mean, the thing probably is, Crispy, is the fact changes. that so we're finally that getting still something coming. from the stream um, and people just want it. As I said, you know, the work is detailed uh, and it's yeah, extensive. How do I say this correctly? It's ongoing and um, we hope to have more. Yeah, we're basically on that getting something later finally. in the spring, some to news. The early summer. And now people but, just um, want to listen. Yeah, keep an eye out for that because I think that's, uh, that's really what the community is looking for with these perk changes. And it's, it's kind of uh, being misunderstood as these like two, three, or even five and six perks getting changed as the perk patch when really that's just the maintenance that you do in a live game. 
And on that topic, there are, I want to say, six Thank perks you, getting some of those value changes coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. No news on family. On the topic of patches, stuff, girls, you know? yeah. our next patch is April 30th. 30? Uh, the April 30th patch is going to be mainly fixes. You guys are working on the game? Of content in that. It's 30 uh, April? <laughs> Two weeks, let's we'll go. More details on that at, at a later time. No um, months. As we get a little closer to Two the weeks. 30th. But yes, the next patch is April 30th. And with that, it leads into the next point, which is we're aiming for a patch every two weeks from here out. Yes! So we'll have a patch April 30th, and we're aiming to have another patch two weeks following that, and two weeks following that, and on and on and on. Let's go, so, Matt! Now you're talking good! important notes on that patching schedule and kind of cadence. Uh, some of those will be mainly content with some fixes, and some of those will be I'm mainly I'm gonna clip my reaction, that's funny, content. sorry. Um, <laughs> the way that'll probably most often work is gonna be patch A is for instance the april 30th patch is mainly fixes with one cosmetic content the patch two weeks later will be mainly content with a couple of fixes and then two weeks after that you'll get a patch with mainly fixes and a piece of content or two and on and on and on and that's kind of the rhythm we're looking to hit part of what's going on now when we talked about the dev transition and some of those processes we're ironing out is the framework to make that possible make those you know I, what is that? Fortnightly? Oh, what Fortnite? Word. The Fortnightly patch schedule happened. What? So, um, yeah, a big part of that is, is the process and you know refinements to the process that we're making. Hard issues. Now. We'll see, crispy. Um, from there on out, maybe uh, this is a, that's in the oh, patch for thirty April. In terms of you never cadence know. and timing of things, um, the team is targeting to drop a new cosmetic every two weeks <gasps> for the next few months, at least, if not into the foreseeable future. We're pretty confident we can keep that Five dollar cosmetics every two weeks? Man, my wallet is gonna go we empty. We don't wanna overpromise and, and get ourselves into a stitch. We know for the next few months we're targeting a new cosmetic drop every two weeks. Let's go, so W, our bully! That's gonna be family and victim cosmetics. Woohoo! Cosmetic per drop. A lot of you have asked about why would we share only one cosmetic per drop, and that's to kind of make sure that we're keeping these things sprinkled throughout. Yeah, I think I prefer this and, uh, than the know, first cosmetic drop, but like $25 in DLC for skins. The content piece. So even when we do have that fortnightly <laughs> patch that's mostly fixes, we have a piece of content that we can sprinkle in there for you guys. Um, the victim cosmetics will be packs like they are now, where it's... Mm -hmm. uh, a new outfit and then recolors for that outfit. That's true. Uh, the family and the cosmetics will be one outfit only, similar to like Bride Sissy and Shirtless Johnny. Um, because of this, the family outfits are at a little bit of a reduced price. They're only two ninety nine for a family outfit. Oh shit! Um, and we also have some really That's cool nice. free things coming, which three dollars for a family skin. Again, not going to say much more on now, but we have. Uh, matter of fact. I want to say we have a very cool free thing coming April 30th. So <laughs> uh, uh, I love free things. stuff. Um, and that's a uh, that that about covers my outline. There is one All extra right. thing actually that I wanted to mix in here that doesn't exist in the outline. You may have seen on Reddit our uh, community manager at large, Sid, has uh, posted a little bit of an update about what's going on with Leatherface. If you haven't, please go check that out. You can you can head to the Reddit and Wait, filter by right developer uh, response as a flare. You can also find in the sidebar of the Reddit our entire community team, and clicking any of their names will bring up their post and comment history, and you can Sid find things that way. But basically, um, yeah, there's some things going on with Leatherface. There was a problem with family oh, members not getting receiving door stuns. In the kind of a bit of the work that went into trying to get that resolved, some in progress work has made its way into the live build. Now this is again leans into that transition talk that we talk about with the development partners and how we're kind of moving some things around and changing some processes. And with that, something that is Maybe not family ready for prime mm. time made it into prime time. We'll see. And um, basically, yeah, so Leatherface is acting a little strange right now in game. Uh, the first thing I wanted to note, which Sid noted in the hey, comment Bonnie. pretty clearly, but Free stuff, to yes. what you're seeing there is not final. So don't think that's that's how that Leatherface is going to be from now on. That's very much in progress and incomplete work. So it's important to keep that in mind. Um, basically, we need to tune things with Leatherface a bit. We're looking at ways we can kind of give Leatherface a little bit more of an imposing 
kind of um, personality in the match and be a little bit more of a threat and a little I more mean, he is already. to stuns and things. Where that all lands, we don't quite know for uh, sure but, yet. By the way, I'm so, just going to load this because like this said, is like obvious now. We right know this. No but problem. they have changed Leatherface's stun. No Instead of him the, falling uh, down, he gets you know, stunned as in when a lead barges him from front. Um, that being said, what will make it into the game, so that's basically I what they're talking about. But now, a Leatherface buff, apparently. About that right now. And I know that frustrates a lot of you when we say, you know, we can't share anything more about that. Stay tuned. Um, this is a good opportunity for us to talk about what that all means, though. Um, and a huge part of what that means is the team is still working through that. And I'm not going to tell you where they're at right now because that's not where they're going to land. They have, they're not fun any they, We have to let them cook, as we like to always say. <laughs> let them so, cook. Basically, a lot of time, a, a lot of frustration over the stay tuned thing. There's a that's one of the biggest motivators behind it. We're trying to make sure that we let our our, our people do what they do best and. There's a problem. Um, yeah. Let's be honest. The the game that you guys are all rabidly in love with is the game that it is because we let them cook, and so we have to let them do their yeah. Their but work sometimes I shouldn't let them cook always. Talk more about it. So I, I know I know you don't want to hear another. Stay tuned for me. But by the same note, <laughs> it's important to occasionally <laughs> he talk set the about line. this and, and get this out in the open about you know these are the same people responsible for the game that you love, responsible for all that potential and all that that you see in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, um, yeah, when the community team hits you with a, hey, stay tuned, or, or, you know, we'll have more details on that later, just know that behind the scenes, there's people over here doing what they do best, and we need to give them the room to do it. So with all that being said, I know a lot of you wanted to hear, oh, the new thing is coming now, this new thing's coming now, or, you know, whatever the case is, and you're not getting that today. Um, just being honest, uh, yeah, I felt that, we felt as a team that it was more important to sit down and talk through these things and um, yeah, that's just sad. kind of, uh, you know, just put a person in front of the camera, so to speak, that um, can address hey, these, these topics that are... That oh, no, are he's going through dynamites. Without it being like um, all just a preamble up to us marketing the next part of the game for you. Um, I'm going to jump into some questions now and, you know... Again, all right, this should maybe make some more stuff chat, interesting. I want to say in slow mode, so feel free to, like, Start tossing your questions in. Now. I'm not gonna ask we'll anything because I have a feeling I'm on their I'm on their blacklist we'll, um, or something. You know, we'll get through as many as we can in a bit here, and then we're gonna call this one done. That's a fast one. Wow, uh, it's gonna be easy editing. Off, I, I see here. What about blood skin and four execution for Nancy? Um, yeah, we're working on catching up characters like Nancy. No, oh, no. Uh, I'll put it this way: it's in the it's in the works. It's in in the plans. But, um, yeah, we have to kind of figure out how we want to roll those out because, obviously, those bloody packs and things like that, that all kind of came out before Nancy existed. So how do we go about the adding Nancy to the bloody execution pack? Do we even worry about adding it to the pack? And on and on and on. Um, but it is something that we know uh, our Nancy fans want to see. So it's definitely a, a part of it. And as far as executions, yeah, we're always trying to make sure that we're, we're covered and shooting extras there. But, again, you know. Ongoing stuff. Uh, Jack, they pack, have not. You know, they, the unfortunately, days. no um, new family member this stream. He said himself, no new stuff. Are there any plans to change the grappling mechanic? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The rate that they are occurring to do objectives right now in front of family has become excessive. Agreed. The grappling situation is has become meta and and a bit strange. Um, the team's confident in the change to the third man in, as I I like to refer to it, which is. Previously, if you were in a grapple, another family member could show up and instantly kill you. Yeah. We didn't really feel like that was working out how we had wanted it to. So 13. We, I hope we so. We stand well, by Max. the change there, but with a major change like that, we have all these other kind of ripple effects that we have to tackle. Uh, perks, obviously tuning some of the perks related to grapples, maybe even tuning the grapple balance, uh, victim and family. All of that stuff has to that has to now happen. When you change something as major as that third man in being able to instant kill, you're going to have kind of aftershocks of the earthquake. And right now we're working on those. That's why you're seeing us talk about things like changes to empowered, changes to grappler. No, leave empowered alone. And then we'll evaluate again and see if there's more that needs to be done. So, yeah, it's absolutely on the table. Um, but again, this is incremental work that has to happen. Yeah. Sunny buff when? I like to think that some of the things that are coming in the perk patch count as sunny buffs. 
But um, we hear you loud and clear on that. And again, that's one of those areas where we're letting design cook. We're going to let them do what they've got to do. Sometimes. And uh, yeah. we'll have more on that as soon as it's ready for consumption. But, I'll uh, refund you, Victor. We hear you on Sonny. I love Sonny. I think Sonny's a great character. He's, you know, Sonny and Connie are what I still roll with as much as I love Virginia. <gasps> no. I still roll Sonny and Connie. Um, but yeah, we hear you on that. And and Sonny could use a couple of oh, no, maybe Victor. more, some I'm more sorry. variety. I can't, find, in what I can't refund do. you. Um, no! Are you all aware of the Nancy Endurance bug? Yes, we absolutely are. It's on the list. It's with the team. The team is, Lord, Victor, as we say, investigating. With you, after this thing. Um, you know, again, that's something that you'll have to keep an eye out. Keep an eye on Muerto Times and Patch Notes for more information on that. And as soon as it's ready to talk about where that's going, we, you know, of course will. Can you share ETA on the next victim? Uh, I cannot at this time. As Bro, why the new, the, the new victim? The new family member isn't even talked on. about this stream. Will Julie ever get different makeup colors for different cosmetics? That's a pretty cool idea. Maybe that's something that we could look yeah, into. Yeah, for the in project two ninety nine. I'm not even sure. There is a chance that the team has already thought on that. Um, but absolutely, our community, our our community team, which is in chat and you know right on the other side of that door, uh, we can propose that feedback to the team for sure. Can we please get a change of hairs? That's uh, another feedback that we've seen. Uh, we've talked at great length about hair physics and the problems inherent in that. But, you know, maybe some different hairstyles. That, that could be cool. Absolutely. Sorry, Victor. You're not going to talk about the I new mean, family have, member. All the community, can you, you apologize for stream. everything your community is going through with your game? We never heard sorry. I'm not sure what there is that needs to be apologized for, but if you feel that an apology is needed, absolutely, I'll say it. I'm sorry that you're going through things. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think that it's a tricky thing with the apology topic. Um, you know, obviously nothing that we do here is is rooted in a position of malice or ill intent toward the people that support our games. Uh, I think that I think that that gets lost Before in exit, the translation yeah. there a bit. I think that a lot of players seem to think that um, we're either not respective of their feelings or maybe we don't pay enough attention to them. Um, but I can guarantee that even when things don't quite go the way we'd hoped they would, it's not because we're sitting back going, yeah, screw it, we're not really worried about that. Um, we appreciate our player base and the people who put faith in us more than I think a lot of you realize. If it's important to you to hear me say I'm sorry, then I'm sorry, and um, just know that we're all, we all love the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as much as you guys do. And w, we're Matt, it's W, you have my respect slowly. Uh, let's get to the next one here. Do you guys play public lobbies? Absolutely, we do. That's Nugget, cap. Yeah, some nugget love there. Absolutely, we play public lobbies. Can we get a small buff to stun perks, perhaps? A buff? Are you talking about stun resistance perks or or perks on the victim side that deal longer stun damage? Yeah, buff juice fight. Uh, Make it ten seconds. Said a whole bunch of nothing. I'm sorry the stream didn't really check the box for you, but I feel like we did discuss some good things. Not a question, Matt, but love the shirt. Thank you so much, Deadpool. Will Nancy get her endurance fixed? Absolutely. That's not that's not Second that just has been answered. broken. I mean, that would be silly. It's just a matter of when and how that fits in and obviously unpacking everything that might be going on there. Uh, let's see. Will we see the new Julie and Connie cosmetic soon? Super excited. I'm not sure what the schedule on cosmetics is. And obviously, again, it, you know, you've heard us talk about not wanting to be too rigid in scheduling those things. Um, but yeah, we definitely have Julie and Connie cosmetics planned. And let me just tell you, they're hey, freaking cool. So uh, I'm a gaslighting yet. Main I, depends I from your point of view. Much because a lot of people are Connie mains, but so no um, new family member yeah, talks. The this Connie one is really dope. They acknowledge there any lobby issues, new maps, or any news on the licenses. Nothing that I could share right now. Um, obviously, Gun is always hunting and hoping for, you know every license we can we want to give the players what they want we hear you guys that you want to see more licenses in the game and we're always going to try and hunt down all of them that's a large part of what we do um yeah no chop but off. also i think you guys have seen folks like wes talk about that pretty pretty candidly and transparently on socials that it's not just a go get rang out for a a, a new license it's there's a lot of work in that uh let's see here i saw something about grapple that i want to scroll back to but my scroll isn't working Womp, womp. Oh, no. I think I waited too long on it. If you ask that grapple question, by all means, hit me again. Uh, will there be any new grandpa perks? Ooh. That's a good question. 
I think that that's all kind of intertwined in the that bigger perk patch work. Um, I think that there's some opportunity there, knowing what I know about the grandpa perks, um, but I can't really confirm whether or not, you know, that's uh, uh, guaranteed or when that would even happen. You got to buff some of these useless ones, though. Uh, I have to get to the newer messages because I'm taking way too long to answer these. Johnny's overpowered right now. Yes, I have seen a lot of feedback about the Johnny situation. Ooh. And I did want to touch on that because there is a significant portion of what I'm seeing that is absolutely latency. Um, I know that's not the answer you guys want to hear. There is, there is a lot of latency in these videos that we're seeing. And um, you can see it on the family side Bring as well. Bring home the bacon, my uh, beloved. I Opie say, Bubba Perk, please nerf. on Twitter shared a really good video of Don't Leland work. and him being Damn. in close quarters in the family house. And then Leland runs upstairs. Maybe it's for Dynamite, Victor. And then Only the for Dynamite. Get, Tomatoes worse for the as people as he used that one for. Uh, that's a good example of latency and how that presents. And nice. I think that because the family is obviously all melee attack, it presents more on the family attacking victim side. That being said, Johnny right now is often the family member in these videos. So that kind of immediately <laughs> means that while there is a portion of that that's most likely latency, it, it can't be a coincidence that he's in a lot of these videos. So again, the team's going to have to take a look at this. <laughs> Johnny's the latency abuser. <laughs> sprung up around a patch. There's a high probability How about Johnny got, uh, tweaked, tuned, yeah, or otherwise. He said it himself. You know, the swing is kind of busted, but a lot of it, so a lot of it has to do with latency. So it's something that's basically out of their reach. Our development partners and we're working on getting through what's going on. Uh, let's see here. We got uh, when the new family will be ready. Uh, again, I don't have dates on that. Will we see a level cap increase? Absolutely. One. Uh, One. Here. Do you guys plan on using any content created by the community one day? Characters, skins, and things like that. Maybe doing a contest. Uh, I yeah, do that. We don't have any plans of that. And honestly, that gets into a tricky area. You know, typically, um, it's a better bet to continue to try and do what we can on the community side to nurture fan content. I think that you guys do a wonderful job. There's a few out there. Uh, I know I can think of Bree and uh, Erica, I want to say, are two of my favorite OCs that I see on socials a lot. Um, so shout out to the people who create those. Obviously, a lot of love and passion goes into that. Um, but we also have a, a team here creating things that are all within the lore and you know match up those lore streams that you guys love so much and all that stuff that we talk about. I mean, Although besides being $5, up, uh, our bully did a good job on the Honor Skip back. create characters that fit in that and... Um, uh, aside from the problems with you know sourcing community content and putting that into a game and you know all of that, um, but I, none of that's to say we don't appreciate it. Uh, obviously, we appreciate all the hard work you guys do and some of these detailed backstories and things. That's just wild, and we love to see it. Uh, let's see here. A contest would be neat, though. I do think that it, there's room for us to do a cool contest outside of the game with these original characters. Sure, I think there's something fun we could probably work out there. Matt, do we will do we will have a friends list? Do will we have a friends no, list? No, he's gonna say no. I think no. this would be good. That has a couple of hurdles. I'd have to check in with production on what all that would entail. Oh wait. I know that it was no small undertaking at the time of launch, which is why there isn't one present. Yeah, they said no um, first. I don't know, you know, again, production isn't my particular, you know, uh, Hey company, how are you doing, man? So uh, I would have to check in with them if anything has maybe changed or if there's some kind of new movement on that. But uh we hear you on it. Obviously, it would be great, but it's not without its problems. Okay, so maybe they're considering Please adding a friend list. That's something that we're obviously definitely <laughs> going to be looking into. As we said in the beginning of the stream, we have to get to the bottom of some of these things with lobby dodging, get that kind of off the top. You know, if we can eliminate most of the lobby dodging issues, um, we can then start to really see what might be happening with matchmaking. But it's awfully difficult when people won't stay put. Are we still getting the Nancy Nighthouse map variant? Oh, yeah, they promised I, us. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny anything, but that would be pretty rad. Bro, so, no, don't do that again, uh, please. That was crazy. Can you guys fix Virginia voice when Leatherface hooks her up? Is that the scream? I think that's the sc a scream. We did have a couple of Virginia fixes in the last patch. 
I want to say one of them didn't make it so in. So, Miss Gifts don't get it. If she gets uh, killed on a like, gallo in the beginning, though, she has means, it on her screens. Uh, hit up the team, uh, Just like Danny had Leland screens. I don't know how they do this. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? You would consider this a Somebody placeholder, about but map voting. Map voting is something we're we're very interested in as part of our work to potentially curb some of the dodging. But no, we have to kind of get through that work. It's like the American elections sissy still coming. We have some plans for sissy. Is suffocating grip supposed to work on just the individual with it, or for all family members? I feel like it's supposed to work for all family members. They're gonna have to change the I'll, description. Have to look into that further because the uh, description but says it only works I for. Say suffocating grip is for all family. The the per holder. There might be a weird thing with the description there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, there we go. Uh, can we get? Stay Limits tuned. on button mashing again to eliminate macros. I don't think the caps have been lifts, lifted for that. I, I don't like use that macros, by the way. A, I, a, I'm on PC. I don't use macros. I'm clean. That leaves room for you to mash, but not to a point where there's a... Ben I'd, I'd have to dig into that further and talk to Prod. Um, but yeah, I feel like Andy from the community team had an answer out about that. And if not, I know he was looking into it already. So I'll check in with Andy when we're done here. Um, let's see here. You guys do really great with Ana Outfit. We really love that. Thank you so much. Uh, huge shout out to Art Bully working on um, some of these new cosmetics. We're seeing some really cool stuff, and it's making its way to you guys. Again, as I said earlier in the stream, we're targeting every two weeks to have a new cosmetic of for one yes. of the other victim of family. My wall's um, gonna quick refresh. cry. Victim cosmetics will stay in the same route, the, the, the same kind of pattern that they've been now, which is one outfit and some recolors. <laughs> the family side is a singular outfit, which is why the family outfit is a little cheaper than the victim one. Um, With map those voting? We're targeting every two weeks. Yeah. Will Virginia spawn in with her ability slowly loading like other victims? Will there be weather aspects such as rain be included in the future? Weather aspects are interesting. Um, uh, Chat, I'll come back on your uh, topics later because I kind of want to listen. Virginia's cooldown on her ability because of the way the ability functions. It's not something that we. we it's the same with Danny. You can't start building up your power. Felt that we strongly needed, but again. Victim has a. <clears throat> excuse me. I, I have yeah, that's why they shouldn't have a map voting because family members are with three, victims um, are with four. Oh, it's one, two, three, four p.m. Make a wish. Uh, the Virginia spawn with her ability slowly loading thing. Yeah, it's not something that we felt was imperative for her to launch, but as with all of these new characters, we keep an eye on them to make sure that if there's opportunities. To Make Sonny has his have his ability uh, already when he spawns in. Here. We need Nico's Nancy skin art in game. I love what Nico does. Um, That's probably. Um, I would have to check out the Nancy skin. I the black bright that. Nancy we saw. Uh, will Stealth get any love, Matt? Um, Oof. We feel that a lot of the changes that we're making kind of are helping nudge stealth a bit. But if you have thoughts, by all means, leave them on the Reddit for us and uh, the community team will check them out. Will there be new family perks in the future? Possibly as part of that larger perk patch. We have to get in there and dig through. Did Nancy get any new perks? Bring home the bacon I don't think so. She did. Figure out what's going, what's staying, what's moving, what's not, blah, blah, blah. Will Virginia's lore be more explored? Like what happened to Jesse? There's a ton of lore there. Um, let me just real quick say that what you guys get in terms of lore is often the tip of the iceberg. Ronnie and Rob, our designers, um, and our designer and creative director, uh, they are, number one, some of the most in-depth and comprehensive when it comes to putting together lore. They really get into these characters' heads, think through every aspect of them, their personality, why they're there, their motivations. There's so much more to each of them. And... When you guys do get those, even those bigger lore drops that you guys have been pretty pumped on, I, I feel, um, it's still just <laughs> the iceberg. So will it be explored further? That's a question for Ronnie. I, I, I don't see any harm in it, but uh, maybe in an upcoming lore stream we'll have Andy and Ronnie back. Make sure you don't have delay, because it seems like you have delay, because uh, I clapped like two, five went. minutes ago. Definitely something we would like to do, but it's definitely not like a... Throw on the currency switch. That's a that's a pretty big undertaking. Um, so yeah. About lore developments. Mm. Right now, let's get through this developer transition, and we'll worry about those the things like that. That's true. <clears throat> <clears throat> plans to change exterior alarms to not affect basement doors. That is a piece of feedback that we love. Uh, I I I'm a big fan of that. I, I like the idea there. Andy brought this up to me recently. Uh, shout out to Andy and whoever it was on the sub. I wish I had your username. On the subreddit that brought this up to him. You probably banned his username. Talking about exterior <laughs> alarms. We're in the process of presenting all of that feedback and getting that to the right people. Now, 
Just because I say I love it doesn't mean that's eventually what's gonna happen. Mm. There's no one person that makes that call. But it's definitely feedback we're presenting and we're hoping to get to the bottom of soon. What happened to the old Nicotero chainsaw sound during kills? Yeah. I'm not sure I follow. You fucking as as I know, changed it. The actual Nicotero chainsaw sound. Now, if you're talking about when Nicotero Without chainsaw had a anyone asking. chainsaw audio on accident, that was an issue with the audio and we fixed that. But Nicotero chainsaw, as far as I know, only has had one sound. Um, the door's bugged again. Let's see here. Are the sissy buffs still coming? Okay, we're getting to repeat questions, guys. So, And I'm losing my voice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drink some water. And okay. you guys are going to take any of these questions that we didn't get to. And please, by all means, hit up the at TX Chainsaw Game on Twitter. Maybe Rob can run the lower third or something with all the info on it. Hit up at TX Chainsaw Game on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit. <clears throat> head over there and engage with our community team. Talk to them about you know all of the things you want to know more about. We'll get as many of them answered as possible. Um, the situation that brought this stream on, I Mr. just want Max. to say briefly, the situation that brought this stream on is it's, we're in a rough spot right now and we're working through it. Um, I'm, I'm not pretending like that's not the case. Um, but that being said, I hope that this helped. I know for some of you, you're going to walk away from this feeling that you want to know more, hear more, or, or, or you know, you wished for a, a something more concrete like well these are the dates that these things are happening i get that and i understand that frustration and i don't have a reply to it all i can say is this is what we can do to try to get this this and when i say this i mean a face behind the camera to talk to you guys and talk through some of this stuff this is what we can do to hopefully get to a better spot and um mm -hmm. other than that it's a matter of both sides doing the work and um we appreciate you guys bringing us all your feedback and we're doing all we can to make sure we keep bringing it up to the right folks uh, that's going to pretty much do it for me today. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I look forward to the next check-in, and I look forward to, you know, sharing some more on that new family member, sharing some more on that new execution pack. You guys recall yes, on the stream we talked about how brutal they are, and I don't think we've seen the most brutal ones yet. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Um, we appreciate you, and thank you for hanging out with me today and getting through this. Uh, take care, gang. <laughs> Nuggets. Okay, so that was basically the end of the stream. Okay, there's a lot to cover. <clears throat> so, uh, I clipped the most necessary parts that I personally found interesting. As in... So, basically, just a quick recap for those who joined in late and don't know too much. Nothing was said about the new family member, so no worries about that. I'm sorry. There will be a patch on the 13th April. And following 13 April, every two weeks, there will be a patch dropping. So that's something to start off with again. That's great. And that's good to hear. Along for cosmetics, um, they're probably going to release it also every two weeks. New cosmetics for victims and family members. But for family members, they're going to make it um, $2.99 instead of $5 because... Um, of course, unlike victims, victims get one new skin with a lot of recolors, while family members get basically one unique skin. He's gonna cry. <laughs> okay. That's, uh... Honestly, I don't have much plan for this stream. I mean, I still have 20 minutes left before I have to eat, so hey, you could do something in this time. But basically, can I... Can I, I think I can, um... Wait, let me just... Refresh. Maybe you can rewatch the stream to check out. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's cringe. We don't watch this. I'm not paid. I'm gonna wait for it to end. A cosmetic every two weeks. They should always do a switch like one family cosmetic and the other one victim cosmetic, not just victim ones. That's true. Let's go to her company. I hope everybody has been having a great Thursday. So, honestly, although this was a little underwhelming. Community check in, because one, it was only Matt, no hate to Matt, because he's definitely an interesting fellow. But I kind of wished Wes was here as well, because Wes is like the main, yeah, I wouldn't really say main guy, but like he's, he, he is a little bit more respected compared to Matt. So that's basically how it works here. Uh, wait, let's just listen to a little bit. And, and, and you know, the nature of the check-in. 
check in with you guys, talk about some of these things, and get some things ironed out and talked about. Uh, yeah, Gunslinger, um, but uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, he, uh, Matt said that uh, he couldn't make it for today. Um, Wes was sick. You know, new family member. We'll have news on that soon enough. I'll talk a little bit about what's going on there. It's a bit like gun does, yeah. Within my notes, uh, as well as the other pieces of new content that we've got planned. Um, we've got a lot of things to cover. Um, I'm also going to take some of your questions, but I want to save that for the end. Let me get through this outline. Hey, company, have a good day, man. Thanks for being here. Goofball. Gun nose issue? I mean, there's no acknowledgement of Steam lobbies or parties. Back to shortly after launch, and there were some oh, changes that we made, and the... The, the problem with that investigation, though, is all of this lobby dodging stacked on top of it is making it difficult for us to try and see if there is anything. Main going issue on, of lobbies, going on, lobby dodgers. Going on, what that might be That's the topic of lobbies. The situation with game mode, um, you know, you've heard us talk about museum mode. And an execution pack, that stuff is obviously going to slip from that 90-day timeline. Yeah, huh? Not seeing the light of day, it's more just a matter of it needed a little more time in the oven. <clears throat> Okay, we'll catch up after this. I was looking into it. I mean, Crispy is something. Gotta be glad. I mean, transition is going on. It seems like the mo... I think the moment 30 April hits, we're gonna know the final part about the transition. I'm just glad there are new uh, patches every two weeks. The patch can be family or victim, so I'd be loving the game or love playing the game. Same, bro. As far as... No, I'll say this, although we didn't get family news, it's great to hear that they're finally gonna start pumping out patches every two weeks along with cosmetics. Now we know cosmetics are a little bit eh for $5, but since our bull is working on them, I can see this as a W. The fact we're getting two pa or patches every two weeks is also a huge dub again, because honestly that's really what most people were sacking when for we will show because again like i said at the top of the stream this is not a uh, for the new family member i assume we are gonna get some more news on 30 april i'm assuming i'm not saying anything because i know people love spreading misspreading information so but i'm assuming i'm not saying gamble to check out the new new um this is more about having an honest and frank yeah that's basically him saying there's no uh, stuff about news or new stuff coming to the game yet as a big pass, and one of the teams is smaller. Ooh, they're listening to me, it seems. Well, not really listening, but I did suggest them, like, whenever you uh, uh, drop content, you basically uh, make two quick patches, or, like, some sort of small patches, then a big one, and then content. That's what I want. But, also, this approach is also very nice. Content slipping out of that 90-day window is not, it, it's not, you know, a sign of anything, you know, shortening. Uh, just him confirming that they're still going to be... Basically, I'm gonna continue the live support of this game for 2024. I know a lot of you guys have been checking in on that and asking about that. Um, you know, obviously, transitions like this, they're not without hiccups. Yeah, transitions. Um, it's a big undertaking. Um, we're doing our best to make sure that this impacts the player base as little as possible. Um, that being said, we're making good progress and we're cleaning up a lot of those processes that it takes in order to get this stuff done. Um, both content and fixes. Uh, Gun, are you talking about? Kind of are you sure you're not talking about Sumo guy? Because so, like well, I, I mean, Gun are publishers, not developers. We're all feeling pretty positive about the transition. We have a lot of cool things coming, and I do have some, for, mm, some yeah. of the bright sides to that. You know, transition. Of, um, we're, we're confident that you'll see the the benefits. <clears throat> Come on, give me something more. Trees. Um, maybe assigning a perk to a character who currently doesn't have an option in their skill tree to have that perk, like Sunny, things like that. Oh yeah, they were discussing um, a Sunny buff, but basically, um, I mean, Matt's answer was, if we change perks, that's gonna change Sunny as well. Um, zoom out a bit and look at I think Sunny's fine, but it's just a fuck his fucking toughness that's ass. And kind of really go in with intent. That's not onesie, twosie value changes. So or not a Rand video. Um, I mean, hold up, let me, let me check something real quick. Uh, my rant video, let me check on YouTube Studio, studio how it did, because, um, hold up. It surprisingly did well for its first day, but it came with a, its negativity. I mean, I wouldn't really call it negativity, because I really couldn't care less. But, 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 it has a 91 likes to 7 dislike ratio. Am I worried about those 7 dislikes? Yes. No, I'm not really, I'm joking. But still. 
the work is detailed and it's extensive. It's ongoing, and um, we hope to have more news on that later in the spring. The game most time. Summer. So, but, um, okay, hold up. Keep an eye out for that. Matt and Wes, uh, I think, main guys of Gun. Is, so, basically, Gun is the publisher of the game. They give out the game. They give green lights to bug fixes, patches, and all coming through. Then you have developers, aka being Sumo, Sumo Nottingham at the moment, but the f they're gonna change Sumo with Black Tower Studios, and there's a transition going on right now, which slows down the progress of updates coming to the game. That's kind of what fucks this game up so badly. That's, uh, that's really what the community is looking for with these perk changes. And have my opinions changed with this community check-in? Uh, well, there was- wait, hold up. There was a part where- hold up, I think- I don't know where it was. We like to think we create characters that fit in that and, uh, you know, uh, department at all. So, uh, I would you know, the more I look at his face, the more he reminds me of a fucking bulldog. I can't help myself, sorry. The wrinkles, the, the big earrings, the nose string, it just reminds me of a fucking bulldog. Please fix matchmaking. That's something that we're obviously definitely going to be looking into as we... Can you guys fix Virginia voice when Leatherface hooks her up? Actually curb some of the dodging. I think that caps have been lifts, lifted follow as far as i know the actual nicotero chainsaw sound now if you're talking about when nicotero chainsaw has instagram facebook reddit yeah no this is ending head over there and engage with our community team talk to them about yeah okay no nothing really too interesting but there was something that caught my attention but i think it was something to do oh sorry <laughs> i forgot well, to be honest, with the fact that we're finally going to get patches every two weeks, my opinion has changed. Now, do I want to make a video on how my opinion has changed after only one day of the random video being out? No, I'll wait for a bit. Because, of course, it's easier to say things than do them. So, even though we got this amazing news about patches dropping in every two weeks and cosmetics dropping every two weeks... We gotta keep our um, eyes sharp, because of course this can always backfire, because of course things are, are easier said than done. Put a person in front of the camera, so to speak, that um, can address these, these topics that are, that are bugging you guys, without it being like um, all just a preamble up to us marketing the next part of the game. Um, I'm gonna jump into some questions now, and you know... Yeah, again, questions. We've got chat, I wanna say, in slow mode, so feel free to like start tossing your questions in now i see a bunch in there already that i can tackle and we'll um you know we'll get through as many as we can in a bit here and then we're gonna call this one done uh first off i i see here what about blood skin i actually want to see the comments real quick here um, yeah we're working on catching up jesus these fucking comments are flying when our servers <laughs> this guy has beef der provenien din man and that's a german uh oh Jesus, we love him. Blah, blah, blah. Will Nancy get her endurance fix? This one has been read. Ooh, this one was actually a good question. Is there anything about the in-game currency? Nah, that's a shame they passed that one because they they have to been talking big about this and before. Are you planning to change something about? Yeah, this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This one. So, yeah, I actually want to return on this topic because you guys were talking about it heavily in the chat. So, I think this should not happen, a vote system, because the game is asymmetrical for a reason. And if you get a vote system, there's basically going to be, like, Russian or American president elections. Is there new... Yes, so they've confirmed every two weeks a random victim... Well, they're going to work in a order, so let's say Connie, Julie, Anna, Virginia... Uh, Daddy, Leland, Sonny, they're gonna keep going with that along for family members. So every two weeks a random victim or family member will get a cosmetic. Victims will have the $5 prize while family members get the $3 prize because um, unlike victims, family members only get one set of clothes while victims get a unique set of clothing with recolors. Slaughterhouse or Mill. Any other maps again? You know, you know what they should do with the lobbies to make lobby dodging harder. Make make it so no one can see what map you're playing on. So when you're playing Family House, for example, people can't the victims can't lobby dodge because the the map is so called family sided, which it could be. I don't know. I don't care about if a map is family sided or victim sided. It can suck, but 
I'm not one of those lobby dodgers. I don't do that shit. I play a map I'm giving to. But it would be cool to see that happen because it also makes it hard for family members. Because if you get family house, you're either going to face the original tree, Leatherface, Cook, or Hitchhiker. Or Nancy, Hitchhiker, and Cook. And the fact is, I kind of want to start playing Sissy and Johnny on the family house as well. But I know family players are not a fan of these two on the family house because they barely give any benefit of lockdown. Also, I feel like they should hide who victims and family members are going to face. Because I feel like... The thing is... You remember when, before the bomb squad nerf, every time a hitchhiker was present in the lobby, people would automatically sw um, swap out their... One perk for bomb squad. I feel like people should just don't get to see what family members they're facing and what victim members they face. Or, yeah, victims they face. That's like a huge element of surprise. And I also feel like it shouldn't be revealed in the scoreboard. Because if you open the scoreboard, you can see the portraits of every character. Like, just add the element of surprise. Like, you're running somewhere and you suddenly get snared because you didn't know there was a Nancy. Like, that's gonna be such a huge W if they do that shit. Because the element of horror will definitely return. Like, you get barbed wired out of nowhere or you get trapped out of nowhere. Or you see a padlock hanging. Or you suddenly see a Johnny sniffing your feet tracks. It would be terrible. Do you think it would be a gamble? Well, see that as this. Hitchhiker has traps. Nancy has traps. And the new family member that's coming is also going to have traps. But they did say that Bomb Squad only affects Hitchhiker traps and not Nancy's wires. But somehow it's bugged to do both. I feel like for a compensation for that reason, they should make it where they basically buff choose or, na or no bomb squads so they can dismantle every trap. I think that's the play. We don't want to make perk users, of course. They also want to buff their face. Oh my god, my big boy's gonna get more buff! Buff and stronger. Uh, coming back on the... Yeah, so basically, don't show what kind of victims you're dealing with. And also for the victim side, don't show what kind of family members um, they're going to be facing. Who do you think the family cosmetic will be for? Well, considering Johnny and Sissy got a skin recently for free. I would like to say one of the original three, but I'm actually aiming a little bit more to Nancy. Considering the fact that she still has no skin. I mean... They're probably going to add a bloody variant soon, but if they're going to charge it for $5 or $3, I think people are going to be a little saggy about it. But the fact that they've mentioned that they're going to reduce the price for family cosmetics from $5 to $3, that's a start. But still, I just hope they don't fuck up the blood part on Nancy, because the blood skins on Johnny and Sissy look hella lackluster. Same for Bubba. Your money's going to die, same bunny. Uh, this is a controversial pin of yours, but I really want them to remove the yellow proximity runes and the surprise because victim always know the family's close. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you can hear Bubba's letter. You can't. No, yeah, you can hear a chainsaw. You can. You can hear them yap nonstop. Because the thing is, the moment a family member sees a victim, there's automatically gonna be a line plate, like cook screams. Uh, they're over here. Then you can check around if he's yapping about you or someone else. Family members have so many voice lines uh, regarding to finding victims, and I do think they should remove the yellow proximity stuff, but only for. But to buff the last victim standing, I feel like they should keep it. It's hard. But then again, people are gonna s assume that I'm a family man, which I am, but I'm not trying to fuck over the victim side here. But I just want. Th this is called a asymmetrical horror game, but. The horror part is kind of ech out of it. The only horror thing about it is like a letter phase and basement at the start of the game. Because if you don't play safe, you are going to get your face cut off, my dear boy. Hey, Gabe. The part Matt said what they should be sorry for him out. Ah, that's the part. Uh, Yeah, basically, so he said he didn't know why they should apologize. But... 
Did they mention lobby dodging penalty? Uh, nothing about a, a lobby dodging penalty, unfortunately. Oh, punishing people for lobby dodging? I mean, fuck lobby dodgers, but still. So, sorry for what? It's the fact that it took three weeks to fix something, and you release a patch that doesn't even work properly. And that's kind of... I mean, you guys are publishers, so you give green lights to this stuff. Be better, come on. And also for the fact that you guys just don't communicate with us. Come on. Maybe make victims not hear family voice lines from so far, because right now, whenever I play victim, I've never been jumpscared or something. I always expect them to come and do their VCs and proximity. To be honest, I kind of enjoy the far range uh, voice lines from family members, because it's funny hearing Cook yell and giving bonkings at the same time from so far. It's funny. I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this comment. Will you release content faster? <laughs> Wait, let's check. Uh... No, there, yeah, see, there's a lot of people saying, like, fuck this game, yada yada yada. <gasps> Pardon me. Hey Gabe, hope you had a good Thursday so far. And crazy would be crazy. <laughs> the thing is with penalties, I know this game... So basically, the main topic of Matt's here about lobbies was lobby dodgers. It's understandable. If people face someone they don't want to face, as in a family member or a victim, they're gonna skip. If teammates see that one has terrible perks or is more of a novice player compared to themselves, I, whether they play worse or good, I don't know. They're also gonna lobby dodge. I don't... The thing is, if I'm stuck with a level 0, I'm just gonna give it a shot, because honestly, these poor people, they, they probably bought the game, high expectations, they wanna play the game, but if you get neglected by your high level teammates by just getting dodged, then yeah, that just sucks. I know low-level teammates, especially on family side, are a nightmare to deal with considering that they leave doors and gates unlocked. But it's a matter of learning for these people, because the game right now is 50% uh, off on PlayStation, which makes this game only $20. Now, if this game... $20 for this game is definitely a grab, in my opinion. For the... I mean, for these original base game price, but... It's better than 60 or 70 uh, compared to what nowadays games r release for prizes. Hiding in bushes. Yeah, Sissy and Hitchhiker should stop talking when they're in, when they're crouching. That ruins the the. Um, yeah, that just removes the element of surprise from these two. In your very personal opinion, they should just penalize players and they leave during the match. Now that's something I can agree on. The amount of times I went into games and just witnessed people disconnecting is crazy. During lobbies, I don't think people should get penalized. But in-game, yes. Just like that by Daylight. Now, of course, we could say swap these DC players with a bot. But the problem is we have not only seen anything in this game relating to bots. As in an offline mode like Friday 13 does. So I don't think they are prepared to add something like bots yet, unfortunately. Do it intentionally. Well, sometimes when my game loads in, people disconnect right away. Like, not, not when the game starts, but like when you load it in into the game and they're just already disconnected. And the only way to do that is by basically alt-tabbing your game or alt-f4ing. So, yeah. I mean, we got some good stuff on this news but so far, but hey. I low-key want to uh, see my reactions, because I had some fucking gold reactions to uh, statements like this. Hold up, let me open my files. Okay, I have in total seven clips, and I think three of them were like pure reaction out of my um, excitement. All right, let's see this one. I think that this was the first excitement propped here. As the perk patch, when really that's just the maintenance that you do in a live game. And on that topic, there are, 
I want to say six Thank perks you, getting some of those value changes coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Who knows I found me? On the topic of patches, yeah. our next patch is April 30th. 30. Uh, the April 30th patch is going to be mainly fixes. <laughs> you guys are working on the game? In that it's 30 a, April? <laughs> Two weeks, let's we'll go. More details on that at, at a later time. No um, months. As we get a little closer to Two the weeks. 30th. But yes, the next patch is April 30th. And with that, it leads into the next point, which is we're aiming for a patch every two weeks from here out. Yes! So we'll have a patch April 30th, and we're aiming to have another patch two weeks following that, and two weeks following that, and on and on and on. Let's go, um, Matt! Now you're talking good! Of important notes on that <laughs> patching schedule and kind of cadence. Uh, some of those will be mainly content with some fixes, and some of those will be mainly I'm gonna clip my reaction, that's funny. Some... Yeah, there we go, that's one. <laughs> Let's go, Matt! You're doing good! They're working on the game? Ain't no way! That's probably like the most crazy reaction you can get from a, from a fan of your game. Like, they're the working. we're ironing out is the framework to make that possible. Make those, you know... That's another clip. Like Fortnightly? Oh, what, Fortnite? Word. The Fortnightly patch schedule happened. What? So, um, yeah, a big part of that is... I love free stuff. I think there's gonna be the parts. And, you know, refinements to the process that we're Part making. Part issues? Now. We'll see, Crispy. Um... From there on out, maybe uh, that's in the oh, patch for 30 April. In terms April. of you cadence know. and timing of things, um, the team is targeting to drop a new cosmetic every yeah, two yeah, weeks yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> for the next few months, at least, if not into the foreseeable future. We're pretty confident we can keep that five dollar cosmetics every two weeks. Man, my wallet is gonna go we empty. We don't want to overpromise <laughs> and, and get ourselves into a stitch. We know for the next few months we're targeting a new cosmetic drop every two weeks. Let's go, W, our bully! That's going to be family and victim cosmetics. Woohoo! Cosmetic per drop. A lot of you have asked about why would we share only one cosmetic per drop, and that's to kind of make sure that we're keeping... Wait, 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 next clip, next clip, because I, I think I double clipped this shit, so there's going to be another part. Shirtless? No, we need a shirtless grandpa. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care about Nancy or Sissy or whatever. Uh, then the know, first cosmetic drop, but like $25 guys, in like DLC for skins. Content piece. So even when we do have that fortnightly yeah. patch that's mostly fixes, we have a piece of content that we can sprinkle in there for you guys. Um, the victim cosmetics will be packs like they are now, where it's... Mm -hmm. uh, a new outfit and then recolors for that outfit. That's true. Uh, the family and the cosmetics will be one outfit only, similar to like Bride Sissy and Shirtless Johnny. Um, because of this, the family outfits are at a little bit of a reduced price. They're only two ninety nine for a family outfit. Oh, yeah, that that was like a huge plus. Instead of charging five for a single family outfit, they're gonna do three now. That's a W. Uh, the issue with one cosmetic drop per two weeks is that people only play the side with a cosmetic drop. Nah, if you're really that, if that sounds kind of dumb, if you're really desperate to play something or someone because you paid for cosmetics, that's crazy. I mean, I'm gonna lie. Well, actually, I'm not gonna lie with you, Crispy. When the day Anna cosmetic came out, I actually managed to play her quite a lot. People didn't even care about the cosmetic, so. I don't think people are gonna start playing one side because of cosmetic drop. Because honestly, if that really was the mentality of these players, then holy shit, we're in for a treat. Oh shit! Um, we also have some really That's nice. free things coming. Which free, free, free dollars for a family skin. Again, not gonna say much more on now. But we have, uh, matter of fact, I want to say we have a very cool free thing coming April thirtieth. So oh, uh, I love free, free stuff. stuff. Um, <laughs> And that's a, a, I'm such a fucking that goblin, bro. Outline. There is one All extra. Right. I'm such a goblin. I love free stuff. For a single man. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Okay, next clip. Uh, okay, I'm kind of lost on what clip I was playing. Stay tuned. Um, oh, I said it! For us to talk. I had the perfect moment! Stay tuned. Oh, this shit gets my dick hard. No, it doesn't. What that all means, though. Um, and a huge part of what that means is the team is still working through that. And I'm not going to tell you where they're at right now because that's not where they're going to land. They have, You're not fun they, We have to let them cook, as we like to always say. <laughs> let them so, cook. Basically, a lot of time, a, a lot of frustration over the stay tuned thing. There's a, there, that's one of the biggest motivators behind it. <laughs> trying to make sure that we let our, our, our people do what they do best. And on the soundboard, let's actually. be honest, Loki. The the game that you guys are all rabidly in love with is the game that it is because we let them cook. 
and so we have to let them do their stay tuned yeah, but sometimes I shouldn't let them cook always talk more about it. so I, I, know, I know stay tuned for what the game to hit the dirt before <laughs> one year release I think it was just the the, the stay tuned meme the game that you love responsible for all that potential and all that that you see in the tech okay god Matt has one big fucking nose ring my guy how can he breathe to that shit Johnny right now is often the family member in these videos. So oh, yeah, the John <laughs> immediately means that while there is a portion of that that's most likely latency, it, it can't be a coincidence that he's in a lot of these videos. So again, the team's going to have to take a look at this. <laughs> Johnny's the latency this abuser. All <laughs> sprung up around a patch. There's a high probability about Johnny got uh, tweak tune yeah, or otherwise. He said it himself. Know, the swing is kind of busted, but happen. a lot of it, so a lot of it has to do with latency. So it's something that's. Are, uh, let's see here. We got uh, when the new family will be ready. Uh, again, I don't have dates on that. Will we see a level cap? Ah, oh, this fucker bitch stings. Let me just replay so y'all can feel my pain. Family will be ready. Uh, again, I don't have dates on that. Oh, oh my god. I think Rodella is gonna be stuck with a without a family member till like 30 April or so. No, not even 30 April, but like till May. Shit, one month without the new family member. We need some other ability. What kind of ability though? <sighs> Will we see a level cap increase? Absolutely. One. Uh, one. Do you guys plan on using any content created by the community one day? Characters, skins, and things like that. Maybe doing a... Yeah, honestly, they should do this. Because honestly, what, what I've seen from concept art from, made by fans or just people who put their time into making this shit, they look way better than what Sumo provided. Outside of the game with these original characters? Sure, I think there's something fun we could probably work out there. Matt, do we will... Do we will have a friends list? <laughs> Do, will we have a friend? No, he's gonna say no. Mark the words. That has a couple of. No, nah, I think I, I honestly think they've learned the lesson of not release or that they should not release a victim a family member separate because that's gonna oh, that's gonna be suicide otherwise. Check in with production on what all that would entail. Oh wait. I know that it was no small undertaking at the time of launch, which is why there isn't one present. Yeah, they said no um, first. I don't know, you know. Again. Oh, yeah, let's we'll talk about the friend list. I, I dumped out. You know. Uh, Hey company, how are you doing, man? So uh, I would have to check in with them if anything has maybe changed or if there's some kind of new movement on that. But uh, we hear you on it. We hear Obviously, you. Obviously, it would be great, but it's not without its problems. Okay, so maybe they're considering adding a friend list. That's something that we're obviously definitely going to be looking into. As we said in the beginning of the stream, we have to get to the bottom of some of these things with lobby dodging, get that kind of off the top. You know, if we can eliminate most of the lobby dodging issues... Um, we can then start to really see what might be happening. <laughs> Crispy, <laughs> you're not wrong. Still, been lifts, lifts, and that's the last clip. I, I don't use chat macros, by the way. A, I, uh, I'm on PC. Oh yeah, I was probably talking about the grappler uh, or the grapple stuff that we're talking about, and the fact that people mash on PC could potentially be using macros. And I was playing dumb by saying I don't have macros. I don't use there. macros. I'm clean. That leaves room for you to mash, but not to a point where there's a been I'd, I'd have to dig into that further and talk to prod um but yeah i feel like andy from the community team had an answer out about that and if not i know he was looking into it already so i'll check in with andy when we're done here um let's see here you guys do really great with Anna outfit we really love that thank you so much uh huge shout out to art bully working on um some of these new cosmetics Not collapse we're seeing some really cool stuff and it's making its way to you guys again as I said earlier in the stream, we're targeting every two weeks to have a new cosmetic of for one yes. of the other victim of family. My wall's um, gonna quick refresh. cry. Victim cosmetics will stay in the same route, the, the, the same kind of pattern that they've been now, which is one outfit and some recolors. <laughs> the family side is a singular outfit, which is why the family outfit is a little cheaper than the victim one. Um, With map those, voting? We're targeting every two weeks. There you go. That was the last clip. <sighs> okay, so... I'm not really planning on playing TCM uh, today. <laughs> I'm sorry for those who were uh, hoping for, but honestly, as long as the party code thing is not fixed, I really cannot be bothered to um, play because it still looks a pain right now. <clears throat> they started, yeah. I mean, Grappler at level 3 is busted. 
So, um, I necessarily don't think I have to talk about anything anymore. Uh, yeah. It lets you create a party. Oh my god, really? W? No, but, uh, <clears throat> you'll check that. Oh, good. But the thing is, I'm, I'm about to have dinner anyway, so there's really no point, so. Oof, yeah. If I didn't have dinner and the parties would actually work, then I would probably play this a little bit for the day. Alright, so, so now, um, basically, let's talk a little bit out of this. Yeah. So, uh, I have some channel news. If it doesn't really interest you, you can just log off right now because I'm basically done discussing this for now. Maybe in like five minutes, I'll return to the topic of TCM real quick, but. As of right now, my channel has um, reached its monetization status. What does that mean? Uh, YouTube right now is qualifying and checking if my channel is up for monetization. Now, this is not for ads and videos. This is for memberships and donations during streams and in chat. <sighs> Parties work? Are you kidding me? Wait, hold up. I uh, get the hell out of the way, you stinky looking man. I need to check this. They fix parties? Ain't no way, you capping boy. Load faster, damn it! I wanna see this for myself. I wanna see this for myself. I wanna see this for myself. Or am I blacklisted? Come on, Simo, come on, Simo, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hand it over, Daddy. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! W! Woo! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's a blessing! Oh, it's a fucking blessing! <laughs> What did you miss? Well, my boy Leon, you just witnessed party code or party options finally being fixed for Steam. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, that's fucking great. Uh, honestly, but should I? Uh, let's just keep the game running in the background. I'm not gonna play, but let's just talk for a little bit more. Uh, what's new in the live stream? Okay, Leon. So first of all. There's going to be a patch 30 April. On the 30th of April, we're getting a new patch. And after that patch, we're going to be getting patches consistently for two weeks. So basically, one once a patch drops, in two weeks, a next one will drop. And so on and so on. Leatherface will get buffed. Uh, there will be... So, not weekly, but like every two weeks, also a new cosmetic for a family member and victim. With a catch. Victims will keep the new cosmetic with recolors while family get a reduced price which is three dollars instead of five for a skin Because for family they don't make recolors for their skins. It's just one simple plain skin Uh, What else? Uh, they're also talking about adding friendless potentially again because this topic was closed off in the launch of the game, they closed the topic of not wanting to add friend lists. But it seems like there has been a change of hearts and they are maybe considering adding it. No news on the new family member, unfortunately. That's something they said. There's no news about the new family member. Nor what else. Um, what else? There was so much. Well, not really too much, too much, but... So, for lobby issues, um, they're still working on... So, basically, the main issue of lobbies right now, besides the six-man bug, is the lobby dodgers. Lobby dodgers are a very well-known issue to cause lobby simulator, because if they see someone they don't want to play against, they're gonna leave. Now, they didn't really suggest what they're gonna do with this for now, but I've given some good suggestions, and I think someone else did as well in chat. 
Judging by the execution. Actually, let's listen to that, because I actually pulled that stuff up before, but I never really bothered to listen to them. Because also, I couldn't really care at the time. Alright, let's... Uh, where's the fan game? Let's just type in WhatsApp, be great. That's how, that's how you find these uh, things. Just type in WhatsApp and you're gonna get him. Wait, for real? Wait, no! Where's WhatsApp? Wait, what? no, it was WA. Wait, hold up. WhatsApp. God damn, I'm getting scammed. Wait, hold up. Let's. Is there like a way to see them by checks? Hold up. Discussion, video, videos, blah 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 blah. Oh, here, here, here. Is this a fucking joke? No, no, no. I don't believe this. There's no way this is a real leak. There's probably gonna be a troll. Trust. Long swings from what it sounds like. He had. Some Ah, uh, but we've known these for like a long time. This for like a long time. Think people, uh, think people are gonna say this in the comments. Hold up. Yeah, there we go. Now this was not bait, but still, it was already the information I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, I saw this one. To the post, thank you. But with a little bit of luck, I can find him because honestly, he's not really that hard to find. But maybe, maybe for me, it's an exception. How many fucking ads are there, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Who made a fucking cat boy John? No, a mate outfit Johnny. Thank you. Just have to find the user, what's up the grades? I've already covered this basically. This one. Oh Jesus. That's Maria? Oh wait, that's, I thought it was Anna, wait. Oh no, Maria! Oh Jesus, that's quite loud. Jesus. Let me tell you one thing, listening to voice lines without seeing anything happen is hella cringe. But the vo Although it sucks Maria's getting added, it's... yeah. Hey Finn, welcome. Wait, so... all of Maria grunts, blah 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 blah. Okay, so those were Maria stuff. Uh, new leaks? No, but they're, they've been known for a little bit, but I'm just checking them out again. Yeah, this one. This is the one. Ooh, this one got removed. Uh, fun fact. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw this, but I actually managed to upload a video on this. The fact it got deleted says enough. I think it's this video. Uh, I think it's Crusader. The most epic TCM YouTuber there exists right now. It's uh, basically this video here. This one. New leaks. This one got deleted on Reddit, it seems. Um, yeah, we got this. You don't see the new video. I don't care about the fucking update, bro. I'm way too busy right now cooking. Search this. Really? Oh. Ah, oh, probably another thing then, because this must be an old one. Jesus. This one. Broken notes and video skills are actually pretty are not even game yet, because the notes to break and not function. You might notice a blah blah blah. Okay, now it's boring. 
It's name. Ooh, wait, more Charlie. Uh, Whisper. I know, Crispy, I have, I have corrected myself. Jesus. No way, is that Cook? Jesus Christ, that broke and swing. Oh, it sounds nasty. Before we continue, uh, what's that? Uh, we're looking at the leaked voice lines, Finn, about the new kill pack coming and this new killer, Alpha, which was the delayed killer. Uh, only audios have been leaked, no footage, but honestly, it sounds very dev devastating. I'm about to listen to the new family members' um, executions. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! So Maria's alive? Assumingly, yes, cuz. Yeah, Maria, voice lines. Oh, that sounds wrong, you. Yeah, getting gallowed. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And sledgehammer. To be honest, dope. I want to listen to this one. <laughs> Two times. Oh shit! Oh Jesus Christ, this guy's not fucking around my guy. Woo! Uh let's continue checking. Mm. It was this. <laughs> No, really having he's holding something like a morning star. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a sledge. Yeah, we don't care about this. Um, let's see this. Danny, Nancy. I think these are Danny and Nancy leaks. It's probably nothing new. This has to be two months old, yeah. Actually, they were out two months ago, weren't they? What would be Alpha's power? So, his trap ability will be putting electric traps at important objectives like battery or fuse. And a second ability to barge victims, similar to Leland. Oh. Hey there, I'm almost up. You might know me as a guy who uploaded certain leaks related to blah blah blah. Two months ago. This must be like something for Danny and Nancy. Oh, this, this shows a copyright strike or something. If you dispose, I'm just gonna read real quick. I don't want. I want to make sure I don't miss out. Oh Jesus! Delta. Wait, Delta is uh, Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she's Virginia's Delta. There, yeah, here. Sweet talk, Grandpa, or to locate him. What's Ripstall? Oh shit. Uh, let's go back to the very top of this then. Well.
Oh, I can't find any more shit. Dang it. What will be Maria's power? Uh, I think we just saw it, didn't we? Uh, the ability to sweet talk grandpa. I was actually reading that one in co uh, silence for a bit. This one. God damn it! Oh yeah, oh yeah, this one. Uh, I accidentally misclicked on something, but that one is very accurate. God damn, I lost the post, damn it. Hold up. Come on. Hold up. There. Uh, Charlie. Ability so this is basically Maria's ability, because she is probably Charlie, I think, from what I've seen or heard. So, to sweet talk uh, Grandpa to locate him... Both actions have a cost. Sweet talking reduces family bond and levels and reveals all family nearby grandpa. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, here, the most interesting part to all the ability is related to Charlie and Maria. Bravo, the mill map. Okay. <laughs> is Maria dead or not? Yes. And <laughs> I love that comment. Abilities. Ripstall. Oh, I, oh, I, wait, I think I get it. Electro traps is like Nancy or Hitchhiker traps, and then Ripsol is probably the traps or the stuff you can put at the main objectives, like battery and um, fuse. I think that's what it is. Ah, I see. Oh, okay, I get it. In the meantime, let's take a quick look at um, what the, the Texas Chainsaw people have to say here. Okay, this one. Wes was sick, probably the same was wait was I was when I was getting they want to go to school that day. Oh Jesus! <clears throat> See, but this guy's over exaggerating, in my opinion, though. Also, I'm kind of mixed on this up, uh, opinion. No, it's not being confirmed, Finn. It's not being confirmed. Someone told Gun to add it. But they're not gonna add it yet, hopefully. Whew, Jesus. Uh, Virginia Meta, what's this? Wait, wh what's, what's the topic of um, discussion? Let's go to discussions. We're, go we're gonna find some feisty stuff here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Some guy promoting a random subreddit. Okay, these are old. Let's check the main subreddit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs> now you're fine then, don't worry. Starting from April 30, there will be a patch every two weeks, guys. Oh, 40, 50 upvotes for the comments? <laughs> yeah, see, there's a, there's a lot of mixed opinions. This guy is saying that's a W, then you have um, this guy. Uh, yes. It makes the pinch right now. Gun has a lot to prove, that's the thing. This is the last one, because... Because <laughs> this thing is fucking adorable. <laughs> and that's... Oh, wait, there's more. Hold up, I want to read the previous one real quick. Yeah, nothing interesting, actually. My bad. Um...
Wait, can I vote? Wait, can I vote? Ah, oh, cringe. I don't want to log in. I low key want to see what the votes are, but I can't. But the fact that bad is up, I have a feeling a lot of people pick bad, probably. And honestly, I think. Wait, really? Oh, God. Alright. I think I'm gonna end stream for today. <clears throat> so, we had a good check in. Uh, my opinion about it. It's mixed. It's mixed. Because, of course, it's easier said to be d than done. So, yeah, they have a lot of uh, stuff on their hands right now. But, of course, I'll be keeping a close eye and make videos on this. Honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna make a video on, on what happened or mention. Because, honestly, after making a rant, it's gonna go bad. To post a video um, talking good about the game again. So, I'm gonna refrain from doing that at the moment. But, yeah, I'm glad I could watch the live stream with y'all. Uh, we had our opinions, we shared them. And I think that will do for today. Thank you so much for joining today, everybody. It was a blast. We have basically been talking for an hour and 40 minutes about this. So, this was bas basically a heavy contradiction and topic that we definitely need to discuss. And I'm glad it's finally over. Of course, mixed opinions, bad opinions and good opinions are always bound to happen. As and as I said, I'm mixed. So, thank you all for watching. I'll be catching you guys in the next stream or yeah, next stream or video it doesn't matter. Um, matter of fact, thank you again for being here and being my company and witnessing stupid stuff happening as usual. So I wish you a very good Sunday evening or afternoon, depending on where you live. Thanks again for joining as usual, and hey, enjoy a good day. Have a good one, my dear viewers, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.